What's up, you guys? It's Ness. Today, I got some new equipment in the mail, but before I even get to that, I wanted to say happy holidays to everybody. You know what I'm saying? Whether you're with your family, whether you aren't with your family, just happy holidays to you and wherever you are. I hope you feel, you know, a little warm inside. You know what I'm saying? Happy Christmas. So today, I wanted to talk to you guys about some new equipment that I got in the mail, and I'm actually, I, I want to say downgrading, but it's not really a downgrade because it's a new camera, but it's a downgrade in terms of a couple specs. <laughs> I got the Sony a7 IV. I haven't even opened it yet. It just came in the mail literally this morning from B&H. And um, before I went ahead and opened it, I just wanted to talk to you guys about it. So, you know, uh, normally I use the a7R4, but I'm actually downsizing from the a7R4 to the a7 IV because the a7R4 for me is just too much camera. Um, I'm not really doing the, the kind of work that I used to do. The file sizes for the a7 IV are actually a lot smaller than the a7R4, which is why I mainly got it. And then it also has the tilt, the rotating screen, and then it also has a lot of updated features color science is better great in video so it'll pair well with my a7 um, s3 so the, the video footage on both cameras aren't too far apart just a couple reasons why i decided to go with the a7 IV over the a7 r4 and why i'm actually going to sell my a7 r4 and keep the a7 IV. yeah let's um open the box i'll be trying to do the whole fancy youtube thing but sometimes i just like keeping it simple so here's the camera this is kind of like a christmas gift to myself as well so here's the camera uh, from the A7R4 to the A7 IV. Oh my God! Wow! Not really a big difference. I'm pretty sure you can watch reviews on stuff like that. I didn't really make this video to make it like a super comprehensive review, but I just wanted to tell you guys why I'm switching. I like the camera. The crazy thing about me getting this camera is that when I had the A7 III, uh, that was really my go-to camera for a lot of things just because it, it was like a, a certain sweet spot. It wasn't too much quality, but it was just enough. The main reason I got this camera was just because it's a easier body to work with for what I'm doing right now, uh, opposed from the A7R4. Um, when I'm doing like skincare and product shots and stuff like that, uh, then I'll use my uh, A7R4. But for the majority of my work, I'll be using the A7 IV because it meets all the needs that I need it to meet. I no longer have to walk around with three cameras. Um, I can walk around with just this and my Fuji just to take some personal shots for my social media, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. That is mainly why I got this camera. So yeah. Real quick, I wanted to talk to you guys about investing in new equipment when you should and shouldn't upgrade or downgrade and set, et cetera, et cetera. You don't have to get every single camera that comes out every single year because what I try to do is just proof, uh, future proof myself for the years to come, at least two to three years in advance. Not in advance, but at least two to three years, you know what I'm saying? Try to pick a good body that'll last me at least two to three years with all the new specs and all the new speedy things coming out. You know what I mean? When you buy new equipment, every time something drops, it's like you end up burning a hole in your pocket, especially if your business is not legalized and you're not um, writing this stuff off, you're just like burning holes in your pocket. So I would highly recommend that when you are looking to buy new equipment or looking to upgrade, downgrade, or whatever have you, you think about uh, the long of that equipment that you're buying are you gonna have to buy another camera da, 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 unless you're like trying to get multiple angles like some people like three angles two angles whatever the hell or just you know just take your time when you're buying this equipment because like this camera was $2,500 at the time of purchasing and then this one was 35 the a7 s3 was 35 and this one was 1500 and then that's not even including all the lenses and stuff like that so it definitely does get pricey so take your time when you're buying um, this equipment. You don't need all this extra equipment to be a good photographer, a professional photographer, or any professional anything. You just need to be good at what you're doing. You need to find the equipment that works for you. I'm going to do a couple shoots with this camera and show you the difference between the a7R4 and the a7 IV. Uh, that'll be in another video, but I just wanted to show you guys what I got. And I'm actually really excited to uh, get to work with this camera. Um, not necessarily for the, the all the quality that I'm going to be getting, like the 62 megapixels, but more so just because it's it's a form factor that I love, and it's just you know it's 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 a, it's a simpler form factor, bro. It's a simpler form factor, and it just does what I need to do. So. I hope you guys enjoyed this video of me just sitting down talking. Um, it's Christmas Eve right now, and my girl's currently, you know, making some great food, some good eats. Hope you guys enjoy your holidays. That's about it, and um, 